everyone, my name is Luke. I'm a student here at UT. And this summer I've been working with Dr. Maupe, who's over there from the math department. Uh, this So far this summer we've been looking at gravitational lensing. Uh, specifically, we've been calculating uh, null geodesics in the Schwarzschild metric. And I'll talk more about what that means. Um, so just to summarize, uh, we want to study the path of light as it passes nearby uh, a massive object such as a cluster of galaxies or a black hole. Um, the applications to this, why do we want to study this? Um, it's interesting to understand the structure of the universe and also astronomers use it to detect dark matter. Um, so to do this, we are studying general, general relativity. Um, we're using differential geometry to uh, drive these equations, which describe the light. Um, so here's a picture, a nice picture of some gravitational lensing. You guys are probably familiar. Um, so where does our work come from? Basically, it starts off with Einstein's equation, which describes, um, relates to the curvature of space-time um, with the stress-energy uh, momentum tensor, which describes uh, the dis distribution of mass and energy in space-time. Uh, what we look for is the metric uh, which, correct, which satisfies uh, this equation. The metric lets us describe the length of vectors in our space-time. Um, so one solution, which is the spherically symmetric uh, solution for a black hole that's not rotating, is known as the Schwarzschild metric, which looks like this. Um, basically defines an inner product, um, which we can calculate the length of our vectors. Um, so what is a null geodesic? That's what we're doing. It's um, a curve whose tangent vectors everywhere, um, the norm of the tangent vectors everywhere is zero. So light follows a null geodesic. Um, so we have a curve parameterized by tau um, in this coordinate system, which is spherical. And so we force this, we take the inner product here, we force it to be zero. And from there, we can um, take the Lagrangian to derive the equations of motion. Um, so computing the Euler Lagrange equations, we get a system of equations here, which we can then, we can then solve. Um, I'll skip some of the details. So essentially, we come up with um, expressions like these for the energy and um, the angular momentum of our photon. Um, and we can relate different quantities also, uh, such as the energy uh, as a function of the radius and the rate of change of the radial coordinate. Um, this term here actually gives us the potential of our photon. Um, we can graph that. Looks like this. So graphs like this help us understand um, the movement of um, the photon near the black hole. <coughs> So here is actually an unstable orbit of the uh, photon. So another thing we can do to um, we can analyze this, we can solve for the derivative of phi uh, with respect to r to see how the path of light is bent um, as a function of how you know what distance it travels in the radial direction. Um, and of course, we could integrate this over um, a radial distance to find the total angle of deflection as it goes around uh, the black hole. Um, so, so far that's what I've done, and our future work will be um, continue to continue studying uh, Lorentz geometry, um, and also further analyzing the geodesic equations. Um, and also considering geodesic equations and uh, other metrics such as the care metric, uh, which is for a rotating black hole. Um, so that's what I've done so far. Uh, I'd like to thank my mentor, Dr. Malpe. Yeah. That's about it. Any questions for Luke? What is L? L is it, just, it gives us the angular momentum, and so if we take h bar times L, uh, that represents the angular momentum of a photon.
so that barrier is due to centrifugal force. Um, the centrifugal. That yeah. So it comes from it comes from this like okay. Uh, these equations we can um, we end up with these differential equations and we end up end up with certain constants. Um, I'm not sure of all the physics behind it. Uh, that's what I'm still studying. But we just the with, conservation law. Yeah. So there's certain conservation laws. Conservation. These, um, when we compute the Euler and Lagrange equations, we end up with certain constants. Right. But it, yeah. it only appears when L is not zero, right? Uh, I'm actually not positive on that. Which no, I'm still L, if you can L, is a constant coming from right. Okay. there, right? If yeah. they see that, it's pi over 2, so. Yeah, so I'm not sure all the physics okay. on it, but I'm still studying. So it's the conserved quantity and the, because of the symmetry under rotation. So yeah. it's, it's the analog of angular momentum. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Any other questions? Yeah. So you said that in the future you're, you're hoping to look at the car metric. Uh, yeah. For working with black holes. Yeah. So do you have, uh, is there any preliminary work or, or information you have about how that changes the shape of the microlensing pattern? Because for the Schwarzschild metric, it's circular, it's spherically symmetric. So that's why you get an Einstein ring. But Correct. I, could, I would imagine in the case of a rotating black hole that uh, gets rid of the spherical symmetry. And so that would produce potentially some interesting shapes for the. Uh, so, do you have any information that you know about this about how yeah, to change things? A little bit. I mean, I know, like, we get the ring because, you know, the light follows the geodesic and. Geodesic is uh, considered like the shortest path from one point to another, but there could be multiple short, um, shortest paths in this space-time, the four-dimensional space-time. So I'm not positive what kind of shapes we could get uh, for the images in the parametric, but that's what I'm going to explore. In fact, uh, there's a PhD thesis in field that he studied the graphic engineering in the current metric, but only in the very special cases, like because the geodesic equation of the current mesh is very complicated, so he assumes certain conditions, then he can study the the, the gravitation density effect. But I don't know what is the detail, but it has been there are some work in this direction. Yeah. So we're gonna keep working. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? All right, looks like